In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss strategies for taking the quizzes on the viewing assignments. Feel free to copy the quizzes, but you'll get more out of the class and probably do better on the exams if you use the quizzes as an opportunity to construct a thorough study guide. Don't wait until the last minute to do your weekly assignments or to do all of your weekly assignments in one single marathon session. You'll retain more information if you break up your study throughout the week. Use your weekly quizzes to construct your study guide for the major exams. Copy and paste all of the transcripts of the NBC Learn videos into a single file. In the same file, take notes on the video presentations that don't have transcripts. These transcripts and notes will be helpful in answering the questions on the weekly quizzes over the viewing assignments and in preparing for the major exams. Let me stress again that even if you make a perfect score on your first attempt, you should take the exam five times to ensure that you've seen all or most of the questions in the pool. After you've taken the quiz five times, uh, review the information you've highlighted and made notes on. The more times you review the study guide, the more information you'll retain. Two weeks before each major exam, begin a systematic review of the material you've highlighted and taken notes on. For the next few minutes, I'm going to look at uh, four questions on the quiz drawn from the viewing assignment for chapter 37. As in the study strategy number one tutorial, I placed the quiz and the file it's drawn from side by side on my computer screen. Late, let's take a look at the first question. The first question is, uh, it asks, what is the name of the man in the photograph? In this case, We'll have had to view all of the viewing assignments and let me call them back up and uh, you probably will remember this photograph. Uh, I think it's George Pullman and he was discussed in the last of the viewing assignments. I'm going to click on that and we'll let it load and uh, watch for a few minutes. Railroad tycoon George Pullman paid his workers unusually and high right wages. There, is the photograph of George Pullman. Uh, so we can shrink this window and uh, it is obviously George Pullman so we'll put the answer right here. At, at this point what I suggest you do is come into the, the picture, uh, right click, copy the image and search for George Pullman in here. Uh, okay and uh, this is where the picture uh, came from. I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to paste uh, and you might want to identify the picture. Uh, put a uh, Okay, and that way you can come back uh, later and, and identify that one. Let's go to the second question. According to the video, The Rise of Labor Unions, which of the following was not one of the bread and butter issues of the American Federation of Labor. Uh, you could simply go back and look at all the videos, but you've got the transcripts here. Uh, let's just put in bread and butter and search. Okay, uh, here is bread and butter issues, and uh, it's about shorter hours, higher wages, better working conditions. Over here is you know, higher wages, short hours, better working conditions. Uh, this is not one of uh, labor's bread and butter issues, recognition of unions. In this case, this is the answer, so we will check that. Okay, now what, what you should do here is I would uh, simply uh, highlight bread and butter issues. And uh, the highlight is right here and you might uh, put in uh, AF, you might also highlight AF of L for American Federation of Labor and uh, I recommend that you do this rather than 
copy the, the, the quiz. You can, as I said, you can copy the quiz if you want to, but it, it really is unnecessary. We probably also uh, should have highlighted George Pullman down here uh, since uh, a question was drawn from him. Okay, let's go to the third question now. Which of the following was not one of the four kinds of people who were excluded from membership in the Knights of Labor? Let's just block Knights of Labor uh, right here and copy it and put it up here in the search box. And this is a, a, a Word document file. I'm uh, going to paste that in and I am going, I'm searching for Knights of Labor. All right. Uh, and it said the Knights of Labor excluded from membership bankers, lawyers, liquor dealers, and professional gamblers. Uh, bankers, lawyers, liquor dealers. Uh, nowhere does it say that they excluded black workers and they didn't. As a matter of fact, they solicited blacks uh, in, in the Knights of Labor. And so this, this is the answer. So we'll click that. And what, at this point, uh, what we should do uh, is highlight Knights of Labor and highlight uh, excluded uh, this group right here. And uh, next time you, you want to review this, you come back and, and see exactly what, I, uh, what you were questioned on. The fourth question. In the video, uh, Riots Test businesses and, or Business and Labor Relations, uh, who did the narrator say uh, threw the bomb in 1886 that killed policemen in Chicago's Haymarket Square? Let's uh, just highlight Haymarket, uh, copy. Uh, Paste it over here in the search box and throw a carriage return. Okay, here is Haymarket Square. Let's see if, uh, no, 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 okay. Uh, no one could be certain who threw the actual bomb. Uh, let's highlight that uh, right here and uh, Let's highlight uh, Haymarket Square. All right. Now, this is what I suggest you do for every question. And as I said before, uh, after you finish the test the first time, even if you make a perfect score, take it again and again until you have seen all of the questions in the pool and uh, indicate uh, where the questions come from, what, what, what they're about, by making uh, highlighted notes or, or taking notes uh, or, or putting in comments and you do that by new comment and at this point you can uh, type in what, whatever, whatever you want to. Okay, now that's what I suggest you do uh, to prepare your notes, your study guide for the weekly quizzes and more importantly for the major exams.